We were at the Gigafactory about a month ago, uh, six weeks ago, and when we were looking at what they were doing, the biggest bottleneck as we could understand from management was with respect to uh, zone two of their module assembly. Without getting into the minutia, the bottom line is they were making significant progress at that point in time, faster than we had thought uh, they would be at that point. Uh, and that's really when we first started thinking about 5,000 as, as possible. Uh, I think prior to Elon you know, tweeting and being more public about it at the shareholders meeting, many investors thought 5,000 was more of a you know, end of third quarter type of event. So the fact that we're within striking distance I think is notable and getting them back on pace. And look, it's really the, the biggest point here is not so much the 5,000, it's that 5,000 is the pathway to profitability, at least on a non-GAAP basis in the back half of this year. So we really think that's the preeminent catalyst you know, between the two. 5,000 or not, it's like the who shot J.R. Ewing of the you know, modern day in stock. <laughs> Are they going to do it or not? Like we are waiting and waiting and waiting. I mean, if they do not make this number, sure. what's going to happen to the stock? Well, I think, look, I, I don't think if they make the number, by the way, that all of a sudden, you know, the, the bulls have been vindicated and the bears are going to go away. I, I think if they miss it, you know, it'll be a turbulent month or so until we get more details from the second quarter results in early August. Uh, we'll get, I think, a lot more clarity on the progression from a margin and cash flow perspective. And I think that progression will be positive and maybe a little bit more positive than the bears are anticipating. So, you know, it will live to fight another day. Uh, and I don't think this puts the, the story to bed either from, from the you know, bear versus bull debate. Um, but profitability sometime in the next quarter or two is what they've said. Uh, and at 5,000 plus, you know, per, uh, vehicles produced per week, if they're not getting close to that profitability guidance, that, that's a bigger issue, and we'll have to deal with it at that point. How, what's your price target? I see it there, 385. How soon? Oh, I, look, I think based on what we're seeing in the trajectory of production, and we think they will be profitable on a non-GAAP basis later this year, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we think we'll be testing 385 and on the way to the, the all-time high of 389 within the next, you know, two quarters. Uh, so it's, it is technically a next 12 months price target, but you know, given the performance we've had in the last few weeks with this anticipation around 5,000, we think there's enough momentum you, to take this higher. Do you think, Jamie, that that profitability target in the next couple of quarters, that that will be a sustained one, that the company will remain profitable, even as Musk was just tweeting last week, I think, what features do you want to see on the pickup truck? I mean, they're rapidly looking to expand the number of vehicles they will produce, which presumably yeah. will take a lot more money. Um, to build out lines, maybe start a new factory. Yeah, well, that's an interesting question, and I think what you're also getting at is the need for capital a raise, I think, maybe later this year, early next year, which is predicated, we think, on the success of the Model 3. I think, taking a step back, you know, many smart investors that have a much longer-term view on this than the next six months love the fact that Elon is an innovator and continues to invest in that, invest, in that innovation. Um, and so to the degree that he can sort of put a stake in the ground and say, look, you know, we're achieving profitability in a mass market vehicle. We've got significant, in fact, significantly more demand than any other auto manufacturer has ever unearthed, uh, you know, in terms of reservations for a vehicle. Uh, I think they'd be more than willing to support him in his endeavors on the Model Y, uh, if it be a pickup truck, certainly uh, continued innovation on the semi truck. Uh, factories uh, that we think he'll probably have to look to build in and around China to support that market over time. Um, so make no mistake, you know, I, I think there will be a capital raise moment there. And depending on how the cadence goes, you're right. I, 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 but I think what they're going to have to show at some point is that they are profitable with the three at 5,000 plus units per week. And I mm. think we're going to get that glimpse sometime in the next couple quarters. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.